Hey guys, it's me, Sarah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please follow, like, and subscribe. Today, I'm going to be talking about like when I first become a mom and when I want to become a mom. So I want to become a mom before I'm like 40 and 50. Like, I think a good time to become a mom is like in your late 30s, early 40s, because that's like a good time because you're like mature and you have your most, most of your life done and situated and so when you first become a mom you go through a pregnancy for like you know nine months ten months and then you have the baby in the hospital you give birth to the baby and so you have to be very careful when you have a baby you have to like breastfeed the baby you have to love the baby you have to nourish the baby you have to eat healthy when you're pregnant and you also have to eat double for you, for yourself and the baby. And also you have to like go to all your doctor's appointments. You cannot miss any doctor's appointments. And you have to find out if it's a girl or a boy at first. And you have to always like wash your hands and keep yourself sanitized. And make sure yourself is like very clean and have good hygiene because you don't want to get the baby sick. All right. You don't want to get yourself sick as well because you want to keep the baby healthy. You know, you want to keep the baby healthy. And also, when the baby is born, if it's a girl or a boy, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to make the baby's room, like, adorable. The baby's going to have everything it needs. It's going to have, like, a rocking chair in there. It's going to have a crib in there. It's going to have, like... A play area like where it can like play and it's gonna have a little room where the baby can like read and it's gonna have like a, a place where it can like take naps and stuff and then I'm gonna teach the baby how to read and crawl and walk and go potty trained potty training and also the baby's gonna have a monitor in its room and also the baby will have like little like lullaby music in there for the baby, like little like baby music in there for the baby. It's going to have like lots of clothes, lots of formula, and I'm going to make sure I'm healthy. And most of all, my boyfriend or my husband is healthy. I'm going to take care of my boyfriend as much as I can because I love him. And also I'm going to change the diapers and I'm going to you know, pack the baby's diaper bag and make sure the baby is healthy, take the baby to all of its shots and doctor's appointments, and teach the baby how to crawl, like I said, and take care of the baby when it's sick and has a cold or it's not feeling well, and, you know, keep, keep the baby clean as possible and, and give the baby a bath, like rinse, rinse the baby off, you know, known good and nicely with soft gentle baby soap and like a little baby bath bathtub that they have and then get like a little baby sponge like a soft baby sponge for the baby and gentle baby wash for the baby and baby shampoo and take a bath with the baby too and also put like a little robe on the baby and pajamas on the baby and I know, breastfeed the baby and give the baby some formula. And also I'm going to cook and get the mail and do, do all the daily chores, like do the laundry as well. And, you know, make, make sure the baby's happy and healthy. Make sure I'm happy and healthy. Make sure my husband or my boyfriend's happy and healthy. And feed the baby formula, milk and water. You got to keep the baby hydrated. Take the baby to preschool, help the baby do homework, and and take the baby to all of its like parties with its friends, like like birthday parties. If he's invited to any birthday parties, of course he or she will get to go to all of his birthday parties, and he or she will join the any activities that they want to do, like dancing or sports. They will get to do all of those th things. And the baby will have a monitor in its room and in my room so we can monitor the baby while it's sleeping. And also we'll have like a stroller for the baby. And we'll also have like a, we'll also have like a high chair for the baby. 
and a little bouncy thing where the baby can like bounce in its like little swing thing. And we'll also have like a li little ball pen where the baby can like go in this like moon bounce thing and play with the balls and jump and stuff. And also, also we'll have like a swing for the baby too. And we'll have like, you know, toys for the baby and stuff to do. And I'm going to teach the baby how to count and, and sing the alphabet and read the alphabet, like learn letters and learn how to count and tell time and learn about money because that's very important. And also I'm going to like make sure the baby is like clean and healthy and strong and has no symptoms and no health issues. Get a little stroller for it. Get a little car seat for the baby. Get, get it some socks and slippers and then a little pacifier and a little bottle. Clean its dishes when it's dirty. Change its diaper. Change its clothes. Teach the baby how to swim. Teach the baby how to walk and crawl. Teach the baby like how to read and write and, you know, give it some baby food, you know, and stuff like that. So, and have birthday parties for the babies and... It'll be so much fun. I can't wait to be a mom. And when I do become a mom, I'm definitely going to upload some YouTube videos and post some more information about me when I'm a mom and when I do become a mom. So being a mom is a lot, a lot of work and it's a struggle, but there's a lot of things that you need to know before you become a mom. And what I want to do before I become a mom is I think I want to take some like parenting classes, like lessons that you can take, like child development classes and stuff like that. And also like just watch some videos to learn how to become a better mom because I want to better myself first so my boyfriend can have a happy life or my husband can have a happy life and my kids can be happy and successful and I can pay bills on time and take care of the baby on time and take my husband or boyfriend to like doctor's offices and places take the kids places where they need to go and stuff so cook for my family you know do things that I need to do do things that I need to do to help have a healthy pregnancy and have a good family and love my boyfriend and cherish my boyfriend and my husband when we get married and we have kids and all that stuff so growing up is very hard but it's a life you have to take and it's a risk you have to take but life is a job being a mom is a lot of hard work and being a mom is not easy trust me changing the baby's diaper giving it formula you know waking up when the baby's crying getting up early to feed the baby change its diaper you know when the baby cries you gotta hold it in your arms you gotta rock it to sleep you got to read it bedtime stories, feed it some formula, breastfeed the baby and care for the baby and, you know, change his diapers and give it a bath and all that fun things that moms have to do. So being a mom is not easy. It's very hard, but it's a struggle. So if you have any comments, leave some comments down below and I'll respond to all your comments. Peace out. Thank you.